We have made it to week two. What are we doing this week? After reading the lecture notes, watching the posted videos and going over the related chapters from your textbook, this week you will complete two assignments. The first assignment is a discussion assignment in which you will choose one letter from the sample letters I have provided within the assignment prompt. Once you select a letter, you will rewrite that letter to a Japanese supervisor. When rewriting the letter, you have to take into consideration what we discussed about communicating across cultures. Read the diverse audience in technical communication lecture notes and watch the communicating across cultures video and apply the required changes to your piece. Your revised letter should be about 350 words in length. Read the posted sample letter before you work on your own piece. To post your letter on the discussion, click on the assignment link within the week 2 module and then click on reply. Here, paste your letter within the text box. Do not submit your work as an attachment. Once you post your letter, read all the other postings and comment on a classmate's letter. Comment on what best culturally sensitive choices your peer made in his or her letter. Check and recommend any changes if you think they missed any major elements. You have to respond to only one other student's posting. Next, you have the letter of inquiry assignment. This is a major grain assignment, so follow the instructions carefully and submit your work on time. For this assignment, you have been given the task to Inquire about an internship related to your field of interest. This internship does not exist, which means the internship is not posted anywhere, which is why you are inquiring about it. First, pick a real company, find their website and read about their mission, goals and primary projects. Why do you need to do this research? because you don't want to sound ignorant by asking questions that can be answered with a quick scan of the internet. Nor do you want to end up asking for an internship in an area the company doesn't even cover. Google the company's name and try to find information about an actual manager or engineer who works at the company. You will need a name, a company, and an address for the heading of your letter. Once you have the company's information, express how your background, special skills, coursework, and work experience make you a good candidate for an internship. Don't waste your time telling the company what they already know by bragging about how you think the company is so great and all. Just mention why you are interested in interning with them and then spend more time expressing why will you be a valuable addition to their company. Read the sample letter for guidance. Your letter should be about a page long. Refrain from making redundant and wordy statements. Use full block method to format your letter. To understand how to format your letter in full block method, watch the professional block format letter video posted within the week 2 module. In the video, the presenter asks you to use Times New Roman as a font. 
However, you will be using Arial font size 12. In full block format, each line of the letter starts at the left margin. Nothing is indented, the entire letter is single spaced, except double space between paragraphs. Use this sample letter for guidance. To read the full assignment prompt, click on the PDF file within the assignment link. And to submit your letter, click on the purple Submit Assignment Action Link from the top right corner. This will open the submission area under the assignment details. Here, you can choose a file from your computer and submit it by clicking on Submit Assignment. Please note that both these assignments are due on September 8th, Tuesday morning before 6 a.m. Make sure you submit your work on time. Email me if you have any questions.